Hello and welcome. If you're looking to start a passive income side hustle or to learn a bit about making money online, then you're in the right place. My name is Philip from Daily Art Hub and I'm excited you're here to get you going on your passive income journey. However, before we get into today's video, I think you know what's coming. As with every YouTuber, one of the best things you can do to support is to hit like, subscribe, and the notifications. Also, please chat with me at the comments below. If you have any questions about print on demand, passive income ideas, or the art at Daily Art Hub, please let me know. In our last video, we showed you how to start an Etsy account and connect a popular print-on-demand website called Printful directly to Etsy so that you can start selling your products on the Etsy marketplace. This time, we want to take it one step further. Instead of selling our print-on-demand products on an established marketplace, this time we're going to walk you through selling your print-on-demand products directly on your very own website. We'll do this by using the widely popular Shopify and connect it with one of our favorite print-on-demand suppliers, Printify. You might be wondering, for what reason would someone rather use Shopify than Etsy? There are several pros and cons to both. One of the great things about Etsy is you do not need to do much marketing. Etsy already has a massive user base, so all you need to do is get in front of the right search results. However, when you open a shop on Etsy, you're sort of at their mercy. If you're not playing by their rules and they decide for some strange reason to shut you down, they can quickly and easily do so. And trust me, I've had it happen and it's awful. And trying to reach someone to help you at Etsy is a real nightmare. With your own website via Shopify, you will not need to worry about any of this. There's no one who can shut you down. Another thing I love about using Shopify over Etsy is the amount of customization you have over the look and feel of your shop. With Etsy, you're sort of stuck with their layout, but with Shopify, the look and feel of your shop is limited only by your imagination. Another very important positive with Shopify is you have unlimited access to communicate with your customers, which will become very important as you build your brand. So these are the things to think about when you're deciding what platform to launch your print on demand business. Honestly, I think it's best to just run both an Etsy shop and a Shopify store. In my last video, I taught you how to open an Etsy print on demand business. And right now, let's get started with walking you through launching your very first print on demand standalone store using Shopify and Printify. Okay, so we've arrived over at the computer. First, we need to go to Shopify. If you've never heard of Shopify, it's a widely used platform to sell anything from physical to digital products and everything in between. It has a huge app store that lets you integrate all types of seller resources. Today, of course, we're going to connect it with the print-on-demand website, Printify. Let's start by making our way over to Shopify by going to Google and searching or by typing shopify.com in the address bar. Once you're at Shopify, at the time of this video at least, they have a free trial going on, which I would recommend using while it's still available. If it's not, choose sign up. It's all pretty quick and painless and just wants your email and password to get started. You'll also have the option here to change your assigned web address. Because there's so many shops on Shopify, you might have to try a few names before you find one that's available. As a side note, you'll also at some point need to go over and do an email verify. On the next screen, you're going to be presented with a let's get started wizard. You can skip this. However, I'm just going to run through it quickly. This way in the future, I'll have some of these things I plan to utilize already set up and ready to go. For which best describes you, I'm going to choose I'm just starting. Where would you like to sell online store and social media? Which social channels do you want to sell on? I'd like in the future to sell on Instagram and Facebook, so I'll choose these. Do you want to sell products on drop shipping? Not at this time, but who knows, maybe in the future I will. And finally, where will your business be located? For me, that's in the US. Now, for all intents and purposes, our shop account is open. The shop's not fully live because it starts out in a password protected mode, so no one can see your store while you're setting it up. You'll have to remove the password when you're fully ready to launch. Now that our Shopify account is open, let's make a product to start populating our store. Just a brief overview of what print on demand is in case you're not aware. A print on demand company will take a design you supply them and print, manufacture, produce, and ship a product with your supplied artwork. This can be t-shirts, coffee mugs, tote bags, and thousands of other products. All the print on demand suppliers carry different products that you can choose from. For this walkthrough, we're gonna use the print on demand supplier called Printify. As of now, I like to use Printify because their pricing works for me and I like their high level of integration with other platforms such as Etsy and WooCommerce and Shopify that we'll be using. To get Printify, go to Google and search Printify or type printify.com in the address bar. Opening a Printify account couldn't be easier. Click on start selling. 
And then the following screen will ask you for your email address and password. Prove you're not a robot and sign up. There's gonna be another quick questionnaire that only takes a minute to complete. What describes you best, design or visual artist? What's your main objective? Start my first online business. Rate your comfort level in designing, marketing, technology. And how did you find out about Printify? If I remember right, I watched a YouTube video, so I chose Influencer. Here we are going to skip through this screen and select Browse Products in the Printify catalog. First, I'm gonna connect my Shopify to the new Printify account I just created. At the drop-down menu in the top right, choose the arrow, then click Manage My Stores. This is the area inside Printify where you can choose any of the integrations you wanna use. For example, if you wanna integrate with Etsy, WooCommerce, Wix, or in our case, we're gonna integrate our Printify with Shopify. Let's click on Connect and you'll be presented with the most common platforms that people integrate with their Printify. Let's click the connect button next to Shopify. Now you'll be asked to enter your Shopify store URL. This is the URL that we chose earlier in the video. Once you have that, click connect. This screen's gonna have you agree and finalize the install. Read through the info that you are agreeing on to share and then click install app. This will complete the integration of Printify and Shopify. Here we will be taken back to Printify where we can begin to create our first product for our Shopify store. Let's take a second to find some art we're gonna use for our first shirt. In a new tab, we're gonna visit dailyarthub.com. Once at Daily Art Hub, you'll see just on the front page alone, the massive amounts of artwork available for you to use for your physical and digital products. Of course, if you search a catalog, you'll find thousands and thousands more. Keep in mind, we've been around for over 10 years now and we release new art every day. So the website is massive and there's nothing you can't find here. Also, FYI, the most economical way to get our artists to purchase our Get Everything on our website for a one-time payment deal. You can find it by scrolling down a bit and clicking here. You can read about it in the product description. However, it's a pretty simple deal. Buy this product and have access to everything currently on our website and also get everything we release in the future forever. Pay once and get access for life. Back at Printify, we were in the process of beginning to make our first product. We're gonna make a t-shirt to sell at our Shopify store. However, we need art for the t-shirt. It's highly recommended when you're choosing art from Daily Art Hub to create a product that you use different arts and combine them into your very own composition. It's not required, however, this will give you an advantage in that you're creating a one-of-a-kind unique product. With that being said, for this tutorial, we're gonna take the easy road and choose art from Daily Art Hub that looks good on a t-shirt as is. For this, I'm gonna navigate over to our quotes and sayings category and go to this adventure quotes clip art set. Once at the product screen, if you're logged in and purchased our full website deal, you'll see a download button. Click here to send it to your computer. Now that we have the art we're gonna use, let's go back to our Printify tab. Here we go to catalog, men's clothing, t-shirts. The most widely popular t-shirt most used by print on demand sellers is the first choice. It's popular because of its great value, nice soft feel and comfortable fit. Sticking with a shirt is a great way to ensure your customers will be happy with the product that they receive from you. Here's something that sets Printify apart from other print on demand suppliers. Printify does not print their own products. Rather, they work with printers from all over who offer their own prices and products and compete for your business. If you scroll down this screen, you can see a bunch of printer options. I like to go with this one here called Monster Digital when I can. However, occasionally they will not have the colors I need. And at those times I may use a different supplier. For this tutorial, let's choose Start Designing located inside the Monster Digital section. When you get to the design window, you'll see the default shirt color is white. I'm gonna click Prices and Variants at the top right to change the shirt color. Here I'm gonna remove the tick on white and change the selection to black. Click update and you'll see we are now working with a black shirt in our design window. Now choose add your design and then choose my device. Here you'll need to find the art you downloaded from Daily Art Hub to choose it for our t-shirt. We're gonna go into the PNG folder and choose the See the World artwork. Here you'll see our artwork is displayed on the t-shirt mockup. We can position it to wherever we'd like. I generally tend to move the art up a bit and align it in the center with the align buttons here. Click on the Save Product button at the bottom of the screen. 
You'll now be taken to the My Products window that'll show you a list of all your products. Click on the product title of the t-shirt we just designed to update the product details and also to publish the product. Scroll down at this screen past the generated mock-up images and here you can update your title. Try to think of a unique title that clearly describes your product. I'm adding See the World to the pre-populated product title to keep it simple. I'm also gonna to choose to include the sizing chart here in the description. In another video, I'll teach you how to create a sizing chart in Canva. I'm gonna enter in a few tags, outdoor, nature, see the world. Scrolling down more, I wanna update all the pricing. I like to sell my shirts at $19.99 each. I'm gonna select all variants at once and bulk edit the prices. And finally, I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and choose publish. And with that, your product is published to your new Shopify store. Let's head back over to Shopify now. You can click on online store over to the left here, and you can see that message letting you know that the store is currently password protected. Also, it gives you the option to remove that password and make your store fully live when it's ready to launch. If you wanna see a preview of your store and also confirm that your Printify has published your product to your new Shopify, click here where it says view your store. Of course, you'll notice there are some housekeeping things you need to do, like create banners, more products, and also enter in all your payment details. But the cool thing is, when you scroll down here, you can see that Printify has in fact published our item to our Shopify. And there it is in all its glory, ready to be sold and make you passive income. Hey, thanks for checking out today's tutorial on opening a Shopify store and integrating it with Printify. I'd like to in the future do a more in-depth video on setting up your Shopify store, so be on the lookout for that soon. Also, if you have any ideas for new videos you'd like to see or comments on this video, please start a dialogue with me in the comments. I'd love to chat. Also, please be sure to keep an eye out on Daily Art Hub as we release new art every day that can 100% be used on your print-on-demand products without any additional licenses. We have art for all niches and genres, and if there's something that we don't have, we take requests. Our artists are always on the lookout for fresh ideas for art to create, so they love suggestions. With that being said, I'm excited if this video has helped and inspired you in any way, and I want you to always remember that you can do this. And until next time, have a good one.